The really troubling implication of the advent of artificial intelligence for the world of work is this. It will not at all be limited to automating away physical labor. When you look at what a lawyer does, or a surgeon, or even a, a, an artist, a filmmaker, the essence of their art is perceiving patterns and um, having sort of stereotyped responses to those patterns that they can uh, improvise on and, and, and run filigrees around and develop uh, as the situation dictates, but that's, that's at the core of creativity. There's kind of a fatuous project that I talk about a lot called Next Rembrandt. Not merely is Rembrandt sort of a canonical painter, but uh, it stands in as a marker for, for absolutely the highest reaches of human creativity and, and human creative aspiration. Uh, what this project did was they took the entire known corpus of verified Rembrandts and they digitized them and they mined them for metrics. It turns out that the decisive subject of a Rembrandt painting is a lone white male in his early 30s looking over his right shoulder. Um, and they took the measurements of things like distance between the eyes. And from this analysis, uh, the algorithms that they, were, they developed in the course of this project generated an entirely new Rembrandt. I'm certainly no art historian, but if you shuffled this entirely machinically generated Rembrandt into the corpus of known and verified paintings by him, I would not have been able to identify it. I think there's a really hard lesson there, um, which is that if you can generate an infinite series of new Rembrandts in the second decade of the 21st century, you know, by definition, without the knowledge or the consent of the historical Rembrandt. And if you can do that for any corpus of work on the part of any creative person by doing a, uh, an analysis, a trawl through their body of work, what does that suggest for creativity? These are big, big questions, and we're really not wrestling with them.